John Buckley uh, is going to come up here and he would like to have a little talk about uh, Mason's support. I'd like to ha have everybody give John a big hand because he worked his butt off to make sure that this event was going to happen today. And, uh, and I really appreciate his hard work. And now I give you uh, John Buckley. Thank you. Uh, again, thanks everyone for being here. It's more or less um, my efforts are more to say thank you to all the military members that are here today and that have served this great country. Both my grandfathers served in the military. My father was served in the military. So that's why I feel it's so important to have this event. Um, you know, it's great. We've had it for six years now. That's pretty amazing. I mean, I'm, I'm hoping to have it come for many, many, many more. So that, that's why we put in the effort. That's why I put in the effort to make sure that we honor these great gentlemen and, and women who serve our country so well. You know, as we gather here today, some of you may, some of you in the crowd may wonder, why do Masons support such events? Why do they support our military forces with such vigor and, and, and such ethic, work ethic, uh, to make sure that these folks are noted? Uh, of course, all of us show support and love for our troops in many ways. Um, you know, the most important reason why is because they're the backbone to what keeps this country uh, safe and free. And that's the, that's the ultimate reason why we say thank you, but there's so many other reasons why we say thank you as well. But it's by the very sacrifices that we get to call this great country home. And I would like to take this moment right now to share with you the reasons why we, as Masons, help support this event. Uh, I'm not sure that many of you are aware or not, but we've had very, very a numerous amount of military members that have been Masons in, 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 in not only their careers, but also in their life. Um, Douglas, General Douglas Dave MacArthur. Um, Dwight D. Eisenhower, there, there's many, that list goes on, astronauts, uh, pilots, Marines. I mean, there's just so many. It, it, I, I looked it up last night, and I thought uh, I would be able to put something together that will encompass all the individuals that were Masons that were in the military. It was literally 10 or 15 pages long. So uh, I, I, as time constraints, I knew I couldn't go through all that, but you know, we're known as a secret society, however, it's, it's no secret that we were part of the, of the great forming of this country in, in many ways, and also the military, but also in, in presidents. We have folks that uh, have been presidents, James, uh, James Monroe, Andrew Jackson, James K. Polk, James Buchanan, J Andrew Johnson, James A. Garfield, William McKinley, Theodore Roosevelt, William Howard Taft, Warren G. Harding, Franklin D. Roosevelt, Harry S. Truman, Gerald R. Ford. And some authorities also include Je Thomas Jefferson and James Madison, but the documentary, documentary um, is lacking right now to prove that. But all these folks were Masons. They were good men. So that's the main part that I'd like to stress today, that that's why we're here, and, and that's why we honor the military so much, because they're part of us just as much as they're part of everyone in this country, because they help support us all. Um, and also during wartime, I'm not sure if many people realize, but they actually had uh, uh, duly constituted lodges, which were not permanent place uh, of meeting, but they would travel with the regiments and military organizations to where they were attached. So Masons uh, they carried it with them. Uh, and I thought that was very important to mention as well. Uh, also, I just want to make sure everybody knows, most of you probably are aware of the moving wall that's happening, the half-scale replica of the Veterans uh, Memorial in, in D.C. that is currently located in Auburn City Park. Um, and if you can plan a visit, that would be great. They're going to be here the whole weekend. That's just another way that we can say thank you and remember our fallen soldiers. The wall will be open 24 hours to the public. There are events scheduled for both Saturday at 6.30 and a sunrise service at 7.30 a.m. And the moving wall will be in the area until Monday at noon when there's a closing ceremony that takes place. The Auburn City Park is off Nine Mile Road near US 10 Interchange. Again, we would like to thank all of you for attending today. Thanks again to the, uh, the color guard that we had this morning from St. Bart Commandery No. 16, Knights Templar, Michigan, under the direction of Sir Knight Norman Lumpton, Commander, and they are the Christian Arm of Masonry.
Thank you again to Rachel Otter. She's been singing since she was three years old, and she's sung the national anthem also for the Houston Rockets, the Indiana Pacers, uh, NBA franchises. She's also sung for the Shriners for the circus. She writes songs and she she writes and sings the songs that she performs. She also does fundraising for Hurley Medical Center. Uh, she's wrote the theme song that they had for their children's uh, medical network for their telethon and also for their phone their phone uh, as well. She has her own web. Website also, so she's she has her own website, RachelRoter.com. So if you're interested in learning more about this wonderful young lady, um, she's done all this and she's 45. No, she's 12. She's done all these great things and she's 12. And she's also a wonderful person because, you know, as herself, she has had juvenile diabetes since the age of six, but she doesn't let that stop her. She continues to come out there and take care of business and, and represent herself very well. So we appreciate her being here and her traveling here again today. Thank you. Thank you also to, to Kokomo's Dawn of the New Day, Redmond's, uh, uh, Goodrich Quality Theaters. Uh, Saginaw Valley, Valley Air Museum, Banning Construction, Dependable Sewer, John and Jill Banning. Um, you know, we thank all of our sponsors because without them we wouldn't be able to put this on. Uh, also, Martha Washington, Chapter 1, Number 113, they're going to be doing all the wonderful food service and everything that we're going to have for you after the service right back here in the Billvillian. Give us a few minutes to move some chairs for you and then we'll meet you back there for some, some uh, hot, mer uh, hot dogs and hamburgers and, and every, uh, I'm sorry, hot dogs and all the sides and everything there. So thank you, Martha Washington, Number Chapter 113. 13. Um, thank you to the individuals who came up with this so many years ago. Uh, you know, Jim Fitzpatrick, John Banning, a, a number of the guys from the Lodge who actually saw this come to fruition and actually created this process. And last but not least, I would like to thank Saginaw Masonic Lodge number 77 for hosting this event, for being the major sponsor. Thank you guys so much. This is truly important to this community, so thank you guys. And then also, you know, Senator, Senator uh, Roger Kahn for being here on his schedule today and, and for putting his support out there. And for the Marines who raised the flag. So, I mean, thank you guys so much for what you do in your service to this country. Thank you, Ken Horn, for being here. And thank you to all the wonderful people who were here this morning early to help me put on this event and put everything together. I did not do this by myself. I did this with the help of many, many others. So thank each and every one of you so much. I appreciate it. All right, so without that, without further ado, let's go eat some food. Thank you very much. Let's enjoy lunch. Thank you, guys. <laughs>